Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a keyboard shortcut on your macOS device. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so creating a keyboard shortcut can be really helpful as it really speeds up your workflows in many different applications. Now, keyboard shortcuts are especially prominent on macOS where a lot of the computer is run by keyboard shortcuts and it seems to be used a little bit more than on Windows, for example. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own customized keyboard shortcuts that may not be already in the library of the many keyboard shortcuts that macOS has inbuilt by default. So this will allow you to add any customized keyboard shortcut of your liking onto your Mac. So I'll run you through that today. So what you'll need to do is go down to system settings and then on the left hand side panel scroll all the way down until you see keyboard. So it's in the last little section here and click on keyboard. Once you're in keyboard settings what you need to do is Underneath keyboard navigation, you need to click the button here that says keyboard shortcuts. So click that. And then in the left hand side here, what you'll need to do is go down to the app shortcuts uh, button here. Click that. And then it says here to change a shortcut, double click the key combination and then type the new keys. All right. So to add a shortcut, all you need to do is click the plus button here. And then what you can do is you can see up the top, it says application. You can choose any particular application you would like, or you can just have it set to all applications. In this case, I'm going to set it for Safari and I'm going to make my own reload um, shortcut here. So what I'm gonna do is for the menu title, you need to enter the exact name of the menu command you want to add. So this is really important here. So if we go to Apple's website, what you need to do is you need to um, specify the exact keyboard command you want to use. So the way you can do that is if I need to find refresh, you can look up in the um, menu bar up here and you can find where it says re uh, refresh or reload page, whatever it's called, or whatever the shortcut you're looking for. So you have to be quite precise. You go down and find what it's called exactly and then you go and type that into your keyboard command. So in this case, it's called reload page and I've gotten that exactly right as it's shown in the view section here. You can see it's reload page. If you can't find it, which I couldn't at first because I was typing in refresh and I was like, what's happening? You can go to the help section here and try and find what it's called. So after trying refresh, I tried reload and then I found here it was reload page. So that's exactly what I needed to call it. Got reload page here and then I'm just going to assign it to an empty command slot. Now there's not a huge amount of empty spots that you can use, but in this case I'm going to find something super obscure and go command um, backslash. And you can see here that you, all you have to do is hold down the keyboard combination you want to use and it will show up there. Then I can click done. You can see it shows up in the little pane here. I'll go back to Safari and do that same keyboard combination and you can see it's refreshing the page now while I do that keyboard combination. So it'll work for both um, both combinations, especially the new one. So you can do that across any app. Uh, I could have done that for Google Chrome if I wanted to. Um, all of that sort of stuff will work across the patches. You just need to make sure that you get the exact keyboard um, the name of the command you want so that it'll work in the keyboard combination. Otherwise, this process will not work. And if at any time you want to delete one of these shortcuts, you can just click it and then click minus and minus again until you get rid of all the ones that you don't need anymore. So yeah, that's a super simple and easy process on how to add a custom keyboard command for anything on macOS. 
Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in a being able to set up your own personalized keyboard commands and have this help make your workflow more efficient across the entire system of macOS. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. And with that, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.